This tutorial is going to show you how to create a group on My Big Campus, which is really your first step if you want to start using this with students. You don't want students just posting things out there just on their activity feeds or um, try and post things for them to do on your activity feed. It just makes it really hard for students to find what they want, what you want them to do. You really need to create a group for your class. So to do that, we're going to go to our left menu over here and make sure it's on Groups. And then you want to go to the bottom of your group list and click on Add Group. This screen is going to be where you put in some details. So we're going to put in um, maybe your name and what you're teaching. Name in your class. And then you need to select your school. And you need to put in a description. I don't think it'll let you leave this box blank. So you need to put something in here. And this is what I would have, would have done for my 7th graders if I were still in the classroom. Now you can put a photo on there and that will show up um, on the group page in the corner just as a little bit of a unique identifier. So you can browse your computer and find a picture that you want to use as your group photo. And then you just click Save. So here's my group page. It's all set up now. Um, I didn't choose a photo, so I see this little icon here, but you could have put something custom in. And then you have all of these sections. And um, I've got descriptions about what you will use all of these sections for on My Big Campus in our discussion topic on using My Big Campus. So there's a list there that tells you what each section of this page is for and, and how to use it. Your announcement section is where you can just post something that you want the students to know, like make sure you have your reports done by Friday, and every student's going to get a little notification up here that you've made an announcement, and that'll help direct them to that page to um, read that announcement. Discussions are probably the section that you're going to use the most, or one of them. This is where you can post a topic that you want students to reply to. The chat feature you could use if you wanted everyone discussing something together at the same time. Um, everyone has to be in that chat room at the same time for that to work. Pages, this is where you're going to create maybe, maybe you want a task list for students to do each day. You can go to pages, create that page, and then you can set it to be the home page. So when they first log in and they get to this page, instead of seeing a group description, they'll see whichever page you've set to be the home page and you could change that every day very easily. Resources is where you can post um, files for them. Maybe you can post a PowerPoint presentation for them or their notes or anything you want students to be able to access, a link you want them to, to follow. You can post all those things in resources. You can set a calendar of due dates or activities that are going on. But here's where you really want to get started. You want to go to members. And in the Members section, you can start typing the names of students that you want to add to this group. You just start typing their name, it'll pop up, you can select it, and you can very quickly add your entire class to this group. Then when they log into My Big Campus, they'll have a notification that they've been added to a group, and they will see your group in their groups list over here on the left. So then you can get started sending them things that you want them to do. Also, after you've set up a group, you can go to the schoolwork section, create assignments, create quizzes, and you can make those quizzes and assignments go specifically to the group that you've created for your class. Okay, so those are the basics of setting up a group, and that's what you need to do um, to get started using My Big Campus with students. Send me an email if you have questions.